artists usually inspire mixed feelings. Some of them are beautiful and beneficial, while others are deadly. Like those who cause malaria, sleeping sickness, amoebic dysentery and trichomoniasis. Some of them also go inside your head, through your nose and eat the brain too. Anyway, I don't want to scare you out, so let's learn a bit more about them. The living organisms, which have evolved independently from simple unicellular ancestors with different types of variations, are called protista. Some of the unicellular organisms of protista are flagellated, from which the ciliates have evolved. Some of them show the presence of pseudopodia. General characters of protista They have well-developed nucleus, organelles like Golgi apparatus, mitochondria, ribosomes, endoplasmic reticulum, etc. are present in the cytoplasm and are membrane-bound. They are either microscopic or can be seen with naked eyes. They bear cilia or pseudopodia for locomotion. They are usually unicellular. They exhibit colonial patterns. They do not show division of labor. Some organisms which have chloroplast with chlorophyll are nutritionally independent, while those without chloroplast are nutritionally dependent. Thus, they exhibit autotrophic and heterotrophic modes of nutrition. They store reserve food material in the form of starch, oil, fat or glycogen. Locomotion in Protista For locomotion, they have organelles like flagella and cilia. The cilia and the flagella are specific organelles present on the cell surface. They help in the movement of the organism from one place to another and in some organisms, they also assist in capturing and engulfing the food. Flagella It is a long, whip-like structure. The number of flagella at the anterior end of the organism may vary from one to many. Euglena is an example of a flagellate organism. Cilia They are short and numerous. Paramecium is an example of a ciliated organism. Pseudopodia They are also known as false feet and are the cellular extensions that help the organism in crawling along the surface. They also assist in trapping and engulfing of the food. Amoeba is an organism that forms pseudopodia. Reproduction in protista occurs by two methods, asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction. Binary fission and spore formation are asexual methods of reproduction, while conjugation is the sexual method of reproduction. Let's summarize. General characters of protists. Protista have well-developed nuclei and organelles are membrane-bound. They are either microscopic or can be seen with the naked eye. They bear cilia, flagella or pseudopodia for locomotion. They are usually unicellular and exhibit colonial patterns. Protists exhibit autotrophic and heterotrophic modes of nutrition. Binary fission and spore formation are asexual methods of reproduction, while Conjugation is the sexual method of reproduction.